It's midnight on a weekday. He's just done a run. If we're just practically providing free security, we would rather infiltrate, get them a mouthful, get them on their way before they break him. People here are patrolling the streets, they say, to prevent youth crime. Get the f home! Community elders say it's appalling. It makes the ones that aren't, aren't offending at all very aware. They can't go up the street to the local shop. They're afraid to. Crime has Townsville on edge, car theft in particular. In June, a stolen car crashed, killing four teenagers. Police data shows property crime being committed by children aged 10 to 17 is rising in Townsville. The rate is 72% higher than Queensland overall. A Griffith University report found there's a decline in youth offenders in Queensland overall, but a rise in repeat offenders. It found chronic offenders are often exposed to cumulative disadvantage. Social media is enabling would-be vigilantes to connect. We intercept, we block them in, we drag them out of the car, we give them a good flogging. Police warn it risks fuelling violence. Just because you're vigilante, you don't get a free pass from the Queensland Police Service. Whilst their intentions are, are honourable, they then commit offences and they will have to be held to account for that as well. Police say they've laid charges against people taking matters into their own hands. Some Townsville residents are sympathetic. Sianne Breeding had two cars stolen and her home broken into in the same month. If the justice system had cracked down on these kids, there wouldn't be a vigilante group. Other victims of crime condemn them. Sooner or later, someone is going to get seriously hurt over it. Sophie Wainwright, ABC News, Townsville.